Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, channel. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna try and turn my designs into punch needle. I feel like this is one of those things that'll just make more sense when you see it happening. I've made the design in Procreate. I think I'm gonna add some text over top and then show you the process. First step is going to be bringing it over into the Cricut. Let's start that process. Okay, we are back. So, we are done with the Cricut. Good vibes, little patch. Did a rough little thing on here. One tip that I will say is you always wanna do this image backwards because that is gonna be the forward way, but you'll see as I do it. So this is number one. I put it through my Cricut machine, trace it out on there, ready to go. The other design you saw me working on earlier, I've got the text separated because those are gonna be ironed on. I'll show you how I do all that. Just about to get started. I didn't realize that the cloth I have is monk cloth. That is not good for embroidery and I did not have any luck with it. I'm going to pivot my idea just a little bit. I have the bigger needle and I have so much yarn. We're gonna work with what we got. Progress. This has taken me about 30 minutes, not too bad. Looks a little messy on this side. Once I add color, I know it's gonna, I don't know. I'm hoping <laughs> that it's all gonna work out. I've got this part down. Looks like a mess on this side. I'm just gonna keep going. It's taking me a little bit longer because there's been a little bit of trial and error. I'm just gonna keep going. So let's see, officially an hour and a half to get this fully done. Looking good. I decided to stick with one color just because it was easier. We're gonna get both patches done. Okay, I've made the stencil. I don't think this guy should take too long. So let's get to work. <laughs> I went ahead and just finished trimming this little guy up, cutting him out. I will link my backing video. This is gonna go on the yellow tote bag, cute. And this guy, good vibes, is gonna go on the purple tote bag. Now I'm gonna show you the process of adding the iron-on vinyl onto these tote bags. So yeah, let's do that step now. Everyday iron-on strong bond vinyl. You can get cheaper options on Amazon and whatnot. I'm too impatient apparently and I just go to Michael's. Okay, now that I've measured how big I want my writing to be, I have taped. You want it shiny side down. It's looks matte, shiny. Now over here, you wanna make sure mirror is on or your image is gonna be backwards and we don't want that. Now that I have my iron on, I'll complete take this. Aha, we got our piece. I like to take my little cricket tool and just like that, we are done. Next step, we got this one. Good vibes. We got the classic. <laughs> a lot of people use heat press. You can also literally just use an iron on. Iron to do iron on. Anyway, I just use an iron. I'm gonna try and even that out to where I think that it's good enough. <laughs> you wanna place your parchment paper right on top. So for working with the iron, I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks that work for me. You don't want it too hot. That was the one thing that I started. I thought I just wanted to like heat blast it but it really wasn't working out the way I wanted. I bring this down a little bit below the cotton setting and I found out it works better. Also, you don't wanna leave it on too long. So you're gonna hold it, press down. I count to 30 and then you're gonna do that in all areas. Now after we let it sit and cool for a little bit, let's see if she's ready. 
Look at that. And just like that, we've got the writing on there. We are gonna take our cute little mushroom, place it, I really guessed on how this was gonna work out, but we love her. So now we're gonna take all purpose adhesive, put it on there and stick it on, just like that. Stick that adhesive on there. Really make sure she's in there, you know? <laughs> We did it. The tote bags are done. Starting off with this bad boy. Number two. Super cute. We love her. Last but not least. Honestly, overall going into this, I really didn't know what to expect. It took me a little bit of trial and error with the different types of yarn and cloth and how I was gonna do it, but I'm really happy with how this all turned out. Thank you guys for watching. I had a lot of fun creating this video. And until next time, 